तो हम लाइका का टोटल स्टेशन जो चलाना सीख रहे हैं जिन्होंने पहला पार्ट नहीं देखा है वो जाके हमारी अलग से प्लेलिस्ट है पहला पार्ट देख लेना आज में हम बात करेंगे डेटा ट्रांसफ़र कैसे करते हैं ओरिएंटेशन कैसे होगा सेट आउट कैसे होता मतलब आप इस इन दो वीडियोस के बाद जो लाइका का टोटल स्टेशन आता है मैनुअल वो चलाना सीख जाओगे कोई भी टोटल स्टेशन होगा बेसिक यही रहता है तो इन वीडियोज़ को देखो लाइका का टोटल स्टेशन अगर यूज़ कर रहे हो तो इसमें काफ़ी चीज़ें सीखने को मिलेंगी so now i'll show you the data transfer part and how you could uh, delete uh, some job these things i'll show you so for data transfer you have to first input some usb stick uh, inside that uh, after that you have to come back to transfer option here you can see transfer option and then you have to come back to data export part inside data export part <coughs> You can select data type whatever data you want if you need a fixed point and observation point you can choose it like that if you would like to select some other stuff you can select the other stuff over here or you have to click ok after that again ok then you have to choose the format data format there as I told you there are two types format available for export option one is ASCII and another is IDEX. So ASCII basically we are considered as a text or CSV file. So it will uh, come automatically with text file. If you need CSV file, so you have to change that extension from uh, uh, TXT to CSV. So you have to change that extension C. Sorry, CSV. So it will directly come back to Excel format. So you can have that Excel format then click ok so now on the things uh, export things will be appear click ok then your transfer will be finished now click no now I'll show you the manage part and job selection or job delete part you can see here the job screen will be appear inside manager so here our job is a new uh, job is 123 ABC uh, is available with us <coughs> and if i want to delete that point or erase something so here i can erase memory option available here i can choose some job for deleting so it does one uh, one two three i want to delete so click delete option and click yes so it will be erasing automatically so you can see that memory information also yeah, the two person memory is used for this instrument thank you so now i'll show you different different application available inside apps so here i'll uh, go through that apps as i show you the survey and set out option the next option will be offset as we know where the measurement physical measurement is not possible and we are having some data with us we can take that offset value and input with some coordinate so it will be stored at offset point for that we are coming back to single distance offset here you can see first you have to input that point id and you have to input that offset value like two meter then you have to choose the left option or right offset or up or down whatever you need you can uh, select that things so then you have to take target that things and you have to take a distance after taking distance you have to click ok so your data will be safe if you click shift button you can see that coordinate with you if you are satisfied with that coordinate you can store that coordinate see I am changing that point id so it can be stored so it will be storing there are other option available angle offset double distance offset if you need you can do uh, take a practice of that like angle offset like double distance offset one distance from uh, first target point another distance from second target point so if you you can do it like that then other option will be fourth option will be missing line measurement as you see suppose if you have some uh, point and taking some distance and moving to others point and take MLM so basically the thing is that uh, inside MLM it will measure point to point 
distance horizontal distance vertical distance and slope distance suppose if we have uh, two known coordinate you can find it out uh, their relative distance bearing sloping gradient all these things by using mlm method so now i'll show you the remote elevation option suppose if you are going to some uh, measure some uh, building height or some light post height what you have to do you have to first target the base of that instrument then take a distance now click rem if you click rem your height will be 1.3 because we are putting uh, the height of target is 1.3 if i am moving my uh, telescope to the object you can see here the HD height of target will be appear automatically <coughs> if you'd like to stop you can stop it over here and you can uh, repeat that option now come back to area option for area you have to there are two options available you can to input some coordinate as your own or you can come back to survey and take some measurement just take some measurement Now if you click value, now if you click calculate, here you can see your area, total area as per your survey. Here another option available for this section. If you have some two known coordinate, you cannot fix that uh, your instrument on the top of your known coordinate. So you have to choose that resection option. Inside resection, as you know, you have to input some uh, first point value, then you have to measure, then you have to input second point value, then you have to measure, and other option will be reference line. As you see, there will be many option available inside reference line. Then coming back to road option, inside road you can <coughs> define some road, you can set out some road points, you can align some road, you can align some vertical alignment, you can transfer that data. So now I will show you uh, how you collect some data, uh, how you create some job inside this instrument. So for that you have to come back to apps. Inside apps you will find it out survey option. And first of all you have to create or select some job. So for job selection you will see we have 1, 2, 3 ABC uh, job is your current job. So we can select that job and then you have to input your uh, selection uh, select station data for selection station data for input some station we are inputting suppose we are inputting 2000 1000 and 500 as your uh, five, uh, 500 is rf and our powerpoint id will be one okay and code will be stn or s simply s we are putting okay so we have stored that point and then i have to input that instrument height instrument height you have to measure from manually 1.45 is our instrument height when i'm putting that instrument height inside that then you have to choose your orientation option for choosing orientation option there are two options will be available one is angle and another is coordinate if you have some known coordinate then you can go for coordinate orientation if you have some angle so you can go for angle orientation so simply we are going for angle orientation for angle orientation first you have to input that backside point id backside point id will be two we are inputting and a horizontal angle uh, like if you have some bearing uh, a known bearing you can input it over here if you don't have any known bearing so you can make it zero and click ok if you click ok then it will ask you aim at the back side so you have to target that back side point and you have to aim that back side point then you have to click f2 if you click f2 then your orientation has been set as per your chosen option then you can come back to feel free to uh, go to survey option so this will be your point id 3 because we are already inputting point id 1 and 2 now what you have to do you have to just simply you have to uh, input that uh, uh, <coughs> instrument height over here uh, sorry uh, you have to input the prism height like 1.3 or you can uh, take uh, the non-prism mode reading 
for that you have to click it over here so it will come back to non prism mode as you see so now we have to target any point and you have to keep distance so after distance you can click stop okay now it will ready to take that uh, reading another reading so you have to simply you have to move that instrument uh, prism from one point to other point then you have to click distance then it will take another point then you can store it suppose you need to see this uh, point distance or angle if you see want to see that point angle if you can click it over here okay if you if you need to uh, save that uh, distance slope distance and uh, horizontal and vertical distance you can click this button if you need to see that coordinate you can see this okay so now we are coming back to this part and here another survey option will be available you can directly come back to survey option and you can do the survey inside that survey option you can have this option you can see if you click f4 there are many things will be appear like that so if you directly take some measurement you can click distance or if you would like to take the auto store option you can click measure part so it will take that measurement and save automatically and if you just want to see uh, see these things you can click distance if you would like to change these things from one uh, distance to angle or like that you can have this option over here along with you hello everyone today i'll show you the resection part uh, how you will set your total station and orientate your total station by resection method for that you have to come to apps inside menu inside apps you have you will find it out resection so you have to choose resection now the instrument is asking for input some point if you already have inserted this point inside your instrument so you can simply click value and you can simply select that point as your first resection point so 15 will be our first resection point we can click ok for selecting that then press ok so now machine will ask me for input second point if you have the second point value you can choose from value if you don't have this so you can input that second point value by clicking coordinate so I have the second point value so I am choosing from my value list so 16 will be my second point after that you have to come back to survey then it's asking for finish input targets and measure so first you have to click F2 for finish now it's asking for aim at point so you have to first you have to aim that uh, your first point which you have inputted already so you have to aim it and take a measurement by pressing f4 measure d then press f1 distance then click yes f4 and then it's showing you second point coordinate so you have to aim second point you have to aim second point then you have to again press measure d and press f1 for measurement then you have to press f2 for calculate if you press f2 calculate it will showing you that your current station coordinate if you if you are satisfied with this value you can just click set station then you can make a escape and come back to survey now you can start your survey after orientation by resection so now i'll show you the set out option or staking out option or laying out option as you say uh, if you have some known coordinate you can lay out that point on your field for that you have to come back to apps inside apps you will find it out set out option just click enter and choose uh, what type of set out you want if you need to set out some coordinates then choose the coordinate set out and then you can input uh, manually some coordinate then click ok then click some distance so you will find it out there will be some error as you see there will be some error of 1.159 degree 
uh, meter uh, there will be some little much error so you have to adjust your prism man and you have to take a retake a measurement then your distance will be appear if you are satisfied with your result you can store that things okay, click store and store if you already have some uh, list of coordinates so you can come back to uh, <coughs> this option and come back to value then you can find it out some value from your existing list as you see here you will be your existing list coordinate you can click ok again ok if you press ok two times here will be your angle will be appear as you see so you have to hold your uh, uh, you have to move your instrument like that you have to move your instrument as zero degree as you see delta angle you have to rotate as per instrument then you have to hold your prism uh, in the line of sight then you have to click HD if you click HD you will find it out that things there will be both are zero that means you are exactly on your point so if you are satisfied with your result then store and store so now I will show you the orientation with coordinate option for that you have to come back to apps <coughs> survey and then you have to select your orientation type before that you have to come back to station selection so as you see your station will be 2000 1500 if you need to input some coordinate you can input it over here uh, you can select from your list you can input like that you can input it over here so our station coordinate will be 2000 1500 and our instrument height will be 1.450 and our station point id will be 1 so click ok <coughs> then you have to choose that orientation method like select orientation then you have to choose the orient coordinate orientation so now you have to come back to uh, these things value so as we have some uh, measure point already you can see uh, measure point is known point is 2000 and 1001.346 and height will be 501.461 if you satisfied with this coordinate then you can take this then click ok then f2 then you can take some distance so your error will be 0 0 as your uh, horizontal distance and delta horizontal distance will be same so you can click yes orientation have been set now you can come directly to go and take some measurement like that uh, you can take some measurement like that like distance and stop thank you